Son of a bitch! Now hold on just a sec. That trick's considered sure. Oh no! Despite the popularity of this mobile gaming device, it's apparently prone to break quite easily. <sighs> what will I do with my spare time now that I have nothing to entertain myself with? Not necessarily. Huh? We are MIT's highly prized top graduating students, after all. I bet with our supreme intellect, oh. we could make an even better gaming device for all of us to play forever, man. Squid, you just break that. And that's how we decided to make our own gaming device. Yahoo! I don't even know what your professions are anymore. You made something completely unrelated to space again. No, no. There might be space aliens who like playing video games. There's no stinking way. Whoa! Is that a new gaming device? See? What did I tell you? Give me a squid and peek. Are you one of those boring humans who don't like games? <laughs> Not only do I like to play a lot of video games, but really, they're my frickin' life! Is that so? In that case, please use this sample to try. What? Really? Thanks, I would love to... See? What does that even mean? It means it won't break no matter what you do to it. So here, give it a whirl. We're proud of the software used in there, too. With this version, you can have competitions huh? against your friends as well. So great and cool. <laughs> Thank you for stopping in. Yeah, please come again. Not a lot of people here today. Yeah, today's a bit slow. Hey, let's test out the Three Stooges game. Good idea, boss. What's this thing? The power button won't budge at all! It's stuck or something! What is this, Squid? Ah! Ah! Ouchie! It's like they only considered the durability of the device. Ouchie! It's kind of retro looking, don't you think? I think I like it. You ready to begin? Ready to go! Hey, this character is me. I'll see what they'll do first. Jump, you don't! What? I got a pistol! Take that! It doesn't hit anything! <laughs> Finally, I've reached the goal. What the? What am I supposed to really do? What is this thing? This is such a ridiculous game! I can't help and continue! I can't take it! Hey, Aiko. <gasps> Sorry! Deduct it from my paycheck! And what else? <gasps> I'll fix it later! <laughs> it's all good now. If customers come in, you have to go back to work. Yes, yes! Come on! Who would have thought that the wall would break? It seems excessively durable. Oh? Looks like they have other games, too. Then we have to play them as well! Yeah! Hey! One shrimp pilaf! Hmm? What are they doing over there? <laughs> Apparently, it's some new gaming device. Huh? I'm a paying customer! You're a real customer! customer Goro! Uh, mages are okay, I guess. I think I'll choose being a swordsman instead. I'm going to be the incubator! What? There's no profession like that on... Uh, there is! Okay, let's start by interviewing the villagers. We should probably buy some items, too. We don't have any gold to spend on anything. Huh? Welcome to the beach shack. We're always super busy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Welcome to the beach shack. Uh, I get it busy. already. Go away. Welcome to the beach shack. We're Stop always it. Super busy. And why do you look like Takaru anyway? Hi. Oh, dearie me. Huh? Ah! Uh, the princess's fever hasn't gone down since last month. Apparently, a crystal from the northern cavern would help save her life, but a terrifying dragon dwells within there. Why would someone who's swimming around like you know so much about squid and collecting crystals and terrifying dragons? That's pretty much what role-playing is all about, squid girl. Jeez. I give you the god death prayer! We cracking got him! Well, considering the awesomeness of the name, the attack was really disappointing. <sighs> oh, 
well. I still just raise my level to... <laughs> uh, what kind of enemy was that? How can they be so different in strength? Amen. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna win by legitimate means. If that's the case... What do you mean I can't run away? If you pay me money, I'll be your best friend and not hurt you. What a cold world this is. This lies the final boss, the demon king of it all. Let's go. Uh-huh. It's time to clear this level! <laughs> oh? Huh? That is the end of the current trial version. Buy the product for the rest. Yahoo! doing playing dumb games like that. I think I lost interest. We should play a video game to feel better. We'll heal our wounds from the game with another fun game. Okay, let's play this one right here. Ah! <laughs> uh. Hey, can someone give me a hand over here, please? Sure. Where would you like me to take this order? That goes to the first booth with the three guys. Okay, got it. Ayumi, can you take these over there as well? Sure, right away. I'll just... Uh, you know, you've really come out of your shell since you started working here. Uh, it would be great if you worked here forever. Uh, okay. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, I'm so sorry! But you were fine working with Squid Girl and Chisaru just a few minutes ago. Is there something displeasing about Eiko? No, it's nothing like that. Well, was she too hard on you before? No, that's not it. Then why are... <gasps> I am... Um... What's up? What is it? Tell us, what's going on with you? It's just... I... I can handle Squid Girl and Chizuru because you're not human. What? Mm. Isn't it normal? I need one fried rice, one curry, a fried chicken meal, and a melon shave ice. Uh, okay. I'll get on that now. So far, she hasn't displayed anything unusual. But you can't be too sure. Ayumi is friendly towards me because she, for whatever reason, thinks that I'm not human. And now I'm observed by alien investigators. This has to stop. I have to be daintier, more ladylike. Excuse me? <laughs> what is it, Ayumi? Will it take a while to cook all that food? Oh, just a second. Ready! Thank you, Chizuru. Your cooking speed is really out of this world. I could never cook that fast. Out of this world? How fast do normal people cook? I have no idea. Hmm, I need an example. Hey there, oh. Squid Girl. Would you mind coming over here to cook? You got it, no problem. <sighs> there, squid and done. Well, that seems about right. It's not that different. Ayumi must just be exaggerating. I seem to be relatively normal. Ah! <laughs> It's pointless to compare against a non-human. I just have to calm down and take a deep breath. Hey, sis, get me a salt ramen and a curry. Okay. You're taking a lot longer than usual today. You sure you're feeling okay? It's just slow for me, right? What if I were a normal person? A normal person? I guess it would be about this fast. Okay, I've got it now. Got it? 
I must wash the dishes slowly. And lift the beer like it's really heavy. And let the mosquito land on me so it can bite me. I think it's working. I bet I look just like a normal girl now. The subject's productivity seems to be down by 67%. Oh, wow. That's unbelievable! Checking the data on sun and sunspots. Something's off. It seems like Sis isn't feeling well. Maybe she just caught a late summer cold. But usually the virus just runs away from her. Oh, hey, Sis. Yeah? There's a banana peel on the floor. I can still sidestep it. But if I do that... Way to go, Chizuru! Anyone else would have slipped and cracked their conch shell! Your reflexes are too unreal to make sense of it all! That was unbelievable! I have to step on it. But then, what do I do now? <clears throat> that was cool, Chizuru! You didn't gilly slip and fall even though you stepped on a squid and banana peel! No human could have done that! that Since I'm leaning forward, naturally, I should fall smack dab face first onto the floor. But at the same time, my animal instinct would make sure to protect my face at all cost. How much energy do I need to use to trip with? As far as the laws of physics go, my body would... Oh no. Wait a second. The impact would jostle the sauces to fly off the shelves. That would be such a pain to clean up. Or maybe even this thought process is unusual for a human to think about. Then... I'll just fall. What do I do? I don't want to make a big mess in here. That was one hell of a fall. Are you okay? I'm fine. Banana peels are dangerous if they make you fall normally like that. That was more than dangerous. That would have killed any normal human being. What? Normally you would trip hard enough to die from that? No. I meant if anyone besides you had tripped just like you did, they would have died from the fall. Chizuru, I'd say you seemed a little odd today. Uh, sorry. It's really just because you all see me as some kind of scary monster. I just want... to be seen as a normal girl who is slightly uptight and sensitive to her fellow humans. You're kind of too late for that. <laughs> if that's what you want, then I'll treat you like a normal girl who doesn't gilly scare me at all. Really? In exchange, you can't crack and yell barnacles at me anymore! I won't yell at you. If you don't take charge, Squid Girl will run amok and try to rule everything in her path. But why? Now I can take my first steps in my invasion. <laughs> Normal girl? Maybe I was just overthinking. She's incredible! Come on, Squiddy, just give me that smile for once. <laughs> Up and Adam, Squid Girl! Breakfast is ready. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Cheeseru? Huh? Squid Girl wasn't in bed this morning. Well, did she have plans to go out somewhere? This early in the morning? That's true. Hmm. Well, okay. We should eat. She'll come home when she's hungry. She can't do without shrimp. Thanks for cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they haven't been able to squid me out yet. Hide and sink? I'm gonna hide inside all Kraken day long. And I bet they won't be able to find me either. Oh my god! Our squid girl is missing! What could have possibly happened to our squid? Come, squid girly! Surprise! Oh, squid girl! Where were you hiding all this time? I was so worried for you! I missed you! What are you gilly talking about? Boys, you're safely at home all squid and day! What? what? I 
gonna enjoy watching them blubber on and on about how much they missed me. Uh, huh? uh, did you two both hear that weird noise just now? Oh, Squid, they heard me. <laughs> huh? Is there a dog hiding somewhere in the house? That sounds dangerous. Uh, I just made things climb in worse here. Huh? I must be hearing things. Oh, merciful squid, that was a gilly close call. Thanks for the meal. That was great. Hasn't noticed a cracking thing yet. <gasps> Once Cheezer was done doing the dishes, I'll finally be able to set down my breakfast. <laughs> uh, oh no, is she putting it in the fridge? Today, I automatically win by a tentacle landslide. That sounds like fun. Can I play? Huh? It's not so squid and easy, you know. I got this. We should probably gilly split up now. It would make it harder to find us. And no yapping your beak while hiding. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Sis, have you seen Takaru? What? He's missing? Did he go out to play? I guess. He always seems so energetic. But what about me? Why haven't you even noticed that I'm still gone? And about Squid Girl. <gasps> I hope she doesn't intend to skip all her work duties today. Uh, why is Takaru considered energetic while I'm considered a lazy sea slug? Maybe she already headed over to the beach shack. You think so? She can have the television all to herself there. They are being so crackin' mean about me. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Tuck it! It's not hide and seek if there's no one to find you. Looks like neither of them have made it home yet. Squid Girl is one thing, but I'm really getting worried about Takaru. I'm worried too. How squid and rude can you be? I'm gonna go search outside. I'll go with you. This is turning into a mess. Hmm? Hey, Eiko, 
Looky. Huh? Oh. I bet they're probably just playing a game of hide and go seek here in the house. What should I Gilly do? Huh? I'm sure you're right, Chizuru. They'll probably be back by dinner time. Huh? Counting down right now. Five, four, three, two. What happens when she gets down to squid and zero? Ready! <laughs> I'm glad you made it in time huh? for roast chicken. You were counting down for the oven? It wouldn't taste very good served cold. Yeah, you're gilly right. Ugh.